Hello, this is Robert, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to read characters from a stream and store them in a C string. So I've set up this program to, sh to demonstrate that C in extraction is not safe when reading into a C string. Remember that the user can type an unlimited amount of characters uh, with extraction, but C strings are limited uh, by, the, by the size of the array. Remember that C strings are just char arrays. So the two C strings that I have set up here are only size 5. I have initialized line 1 to the, to the value high, and then line 2 is uninitialized because I'm going to do input on line 11. Line 9 is a C out statement that will tell us the base address of both line 2 and line 1. The ampersand character in front of line 2 and in front of line 1 is the address of operator. So when I'm using the ampersand with, a, with an array, it tells me the base address of the array. So I get to see the very first memory address of line 2 and the first memory location for line 1. I've run this program previously and you can see that the base address for line 2 is at 712 or the, the address ends in 712 and then the address for line 1 ends in 717. So there are five characters. We can see that there are five characters in line 2. Let me start the program and when I do it's going to stop execution. It's going to break on line 11. I've set a breakpoint there so it's basically going to stop and allow me to see what's going on inside of my program. So I'm going to click the start button and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the autos window so that I get to see what's going on in memory. So we can see that line 1 was initialized to the word high. So line 1 in location 0, there's an H. In location 1, there's an I. And then location 2 has the null terminator. Line 2 is all zeros because we haven't done any input yet and it's not initialized. So the, um, the debugger stopped execution for us on line 11. And so I want to go ahead and do input into line 2. So what I want to do is I want to step over line 11. And, and so now my program is waiting for me to, to type the text into line 2. I'm going to type the word greetings. And notice that there are nine characters in that word. But there's only five character locations in line 2 because I set it to size 5. Okay, so when I type return and then I open up the autos window again, I can see that G-R-E-E-T was stored in line 2, but there wasn't enough memory for I and G-S. So, since line 1 was right next to line 2, the characters just filled up the memory for line 1, I and G-S. So even though line 1 was initialized to, to have the value high, we overflowed our buffer and INGS went into the memory next door. So this can be a security issue if the user is allowed to type characters into memory that is unprotected, um, uh, yet still executable. Um, and also, uh, we could just corrupt the data that we're using for, for our program. Even if it doesn't cause a security issue, it can corrupt the data that we're dealing with. So in order to fix this problem, we need to use a different way of, of um, storing characters into a C string. And so what we can do is we can use get or get line. So I'm going to change the way I read characters from C in, and I'm going to use a method or member function called get line. And Xcode is showing me that the first argument needs to be a string, so I'm going to use line 2. And then the second argument has to be the size of, of, the, of however many characters I want to store. So I can just go ahead and use size right here also. So this basically limits um, 
the number of characters that will be stored in line 2 to 5. So I'm going to leave the breakpoint where it is and I'm going to start up the program again and this time when I type greetings getLine is only going to allow me to store five characters including the null terminator so I'll go ahead and type greetings again and then um, I'll open up the autos window and let's see what we got for line two and line one this time we can see that line two only stored GREE -E. so it only allowed us to store four characters because it kept room for the null terminator and then we can see that line one was not overwritten so this is a much more secure way of reading data from a stream there are two versions uh, that will allow you to safely read characters into a C string. The first one that I just showed you is getLine, the second one is get. And in the second half of this video, or second part of this video, I'll show you the difference between get and getLine. In the second part of this video, I'm going to show you the difference between getLine and get and both of these methods or member functions will allow you to extract characters from a stream in a safe manner like we took a look at in the first part of this video I've switched to an input text file for the second half so I've loaded the fstream library and I've created an ifstream object and then I'm going to open a file called text.txt then I have one version of getLine right there that uses two arguments. Then the second version of getLine uses three arguments. And then here's the version of get that we're going to take a look at. And that one, I'm also using a, a version that uses three arguments. But you can use the version of get that has two arguments as well, just like we're doing with getLine right there. I've also increased the size of my uh, C string to a more reasonable size, 256 characters. So let's take a look at the text file that I'm going to be reading. And we can see that the first line is hello there, the second one is first comma example, and then the, the last line is second comma example. So when, when I use get line in this uh, uh, format it it has two arguments the first one is the C string and the second one is how large the C string is notice with this one I have three arguments I, I'm using a delimiter argument right there so there's two versions that you can use um, if I leave off the third argument then the default value is going to be the new line character so this particular version of getLine uses the default new line, and so this would be the same thing as using a delimiter that is the new line. If I leave it off, then it will default to this value as, as the uh, delimiting character. So it's going to read 256 characters or until it sees the new line. So when I executed the program, that first uh, get line statement right here read up until the end of the line so we can see that hello there was loaded and it, and and if we take a look at the text file it it has the words hello there and then a new line character and so then that's why first is on the next line down because there's a new line character right after e so that's why we got hello there for our first line then we used a version of getLine that, that has the delimiter, and so we can, re, we can see that it read up until uh, the end of the, the first word. And so we can see the comma right there. So it read first, and then it, and then it read the delimiter, and since we're using getLine, it threw that delimiter away. And so that's why when we see next letter, it's the letter E. So it read first... And then, it, and then it removed the, the comma from the stream. And then remember, if you just use get with a single char, it just gets the next 
uh, letter from the string, the next character. So that's why with this first version, we read first, then we threw away the comma, and then E is the next character to read from the stream. So that's why next letter is E on that version right there. This version, using get, is also using the delimiter character, which is a comma, and this is going to be reading the third line from our text file. And so the third line is second comma example. The difference between get and get line is that get line will remove the comma or, or the delimiter from the stream, but get will not. It reads up to the delimiter and then it leaves the delimiter in the stream. So then when we get the very next char from the stream, the next letter is going to be the delimiter. So you can see that the version that we used with get read up until the comma, so we can see that it read second, and then it stopped because it, 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 saw, it found the delimiter right there, but it left it in the stream. So then when we had this line on line 19, we read the very next char, we got the comma from the stream.